The Ellis Al Union School Board made the decision to send the recall of board member Meredith Ibarra to voters. That vote coming after a meeting that had to be suspended because some board members in the audience got out of control. Action News reporter Brittany Nielsen was there. Brittany? Well, Dan, several people were asked to leave this meeting, including Meredith Ibarra herself. The meeting was suspended until the room could be cleared out, and it started, it all started with board president Maricela Cruz asking Ibarra to save the district money and resign. We can save ourselves our, this fifteen or twenty thousand dollars and use it on the students. Um, if Ms. Ibarra would be uh, so inclined to resign, we did see the numbers before, and I believe she won the election with seventy votes. That probably was her family. I'm sorry, that's a, uh, me. That's a comment. Me. I'm not talking. You're, I'm not talking again, to you. I'm giving I'm you a warning. That is the argument that spurred a contentious debate between board member Meredith Ibarra and board president Marisol Cruz. You have been asked to leave. Ibarra stalled security officers who moved in to escort her out, and audience members, Ibarra backers, began shouting at Cruz. Sorry, that's what's all they Cruz told them all to leave as the rest of the board sat silent. Oh, you go. And you too. You too. Oh, you go. I will suspend the meeting because people are not acting appropriately. The disruption spilled outside, Ibarra refusing our cameras and her supporters stepping in. Can you tell me then uh, for the surprise she's referring to uh, once in, again, a, in a you, further position? Once again, you have, you have lost your credibility and you will not get any kind of media from, from anyone in this community. At the heart of all the arguing, the vote to place Ibarra's recall on a special election ballot in September. Board members eventually approved that. It will happen September 9th. I'm not going to oppose to this recon. I'm not going to fight this recon. If my community wants me there, if they decide to go ahead and fight for my recon, I'm going to go ahead and support them. If not, I think I have done a good job. I would be very, very uh, uh, surprised if she didn't challenge it. Do you have efforts planned? Right now? Uh, I, I cannot divulge that, but there we've been in the works. Now, Ibar tonight told the audience that she doesn't believe the recall is for the benefit of the district. Instead, she believes it is for the, di the benefit of district employees because the man who did uh, put together this recall and file this recall is an employee of the district. Again, Ibarra scheduled to uh, her recall effort scheduled to be on the ballot in a special election in September. Dan. All right. Thank you very much, Brittany. The vote on the recall was four board, board members for it. One board member absent. That was Meredith Ibarra, who couldn't be in the room.